This should be a good race. T46, arm amputees. Heath Francis there, world record holder from Australia. He won three gold medals at the Beijing Paralympic Games. I trained with Heath for some of my uh, career. Very talented athlete and he in fact is here commentating um, with Australian TV. So he'll be calling this race right now to see whether his world record will be broken. So let's see. Just looking at uh, the times once again, always look for the middle lanes for the uh, the fastest qualifiers and the fastest season's best time, 49.23. And that's Matzinger of Austria. There's uh, Xi of China, qualified in a time of 50.74. Brazilian in lane three. Souza. 30 years of age, season's best of 50.19. And there is Johansson Nascimento. He's the chap who asked his girlfriend to marry him. Talita, you remember? And there he is. And she said yes. She did. She was absolutely delighted. So he's got a gold medal. He's uh, got a wedding on the way. And will he get another medal tonight? There's the Rwandan and the Austrian. Gunter Matzinger. That's the fastest time so far this year out of these runners. Is there a name for you? The Sri Lankan Pathirinahilag. Well done. Would it be mean of me to say I hope he's not in contention? Because it's very hard to say that at speed. Pathirinahilag. Pathirinahilag. Adu Kimo from. Ivory Coast and uh, Aristi from Cyprus. Yes, yeah, CIV always catches people out. Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, as we call it. So keep your eye on lane five and lane six. Obviously, always the fastest qualifiers go into these lanes. Mavunyi of Rwanda in lane five. Matzinger of Austria in lane six. They're under starter's orders. And they're away. And who's going to be the quickest out? We can't really see yet till we get the wide camera shot. But... Uh, we can see that uh, Nascimento of Brazil going very well in lane three, our old friend Johansson Nascimento, and the Austrian as well, Matzinger, is going very well indeed. And also in the outside lane, Aresti of Cyprus has gone off very fast indeed. He could well even be in the lead. We'll wait when the bend comes round. Aresti of Cyprus, it's the men's 400 metres. I think once uh, the bend unfurls, we'll see that uh, Nascimento on the inside is doing very well, and Matzinger as well. They're coming round this bend now. Matzinger just going to take to the lead. It's Matzinger in the middle from Austria. Just ahead of Nascimento from Brazil and on the near side, Aresti from Cyprus. But it's going to be Matzinger to get it. Nascimento's going to get second. And the Sri Lankan, whose name's too long to say, before he goes across <laughs> the line, gets the bronze. We didn't see any world records time there, but a very convincing win. Yep, you called that one spot on. It's Gunter Matzinger of Austria with a regional record of 48.45. And comes scarily close to the camera. Followed by Nazimento from Brazil with a time of 49.21. And uh, a regional <laughs> record as well for Patherin Halag. I can tell you're pausing because you think, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let Jeremy <laughs> say that Halag, 49.28. 26 year old from Sri Lanka. And you can just see the lactic, the pain, these athletes have given everything. You come out of the bend, which is the most important part to get momentum to come into the home straight. This is where it really, really hurts. You can see the pain on a lot of faces. But our winner, Matsinga, controlled and runs through to the line. Just to explain lactic acid to me. Um, my wife runs marathons and she's always talking about lactic acid. And uh, as I understand it, it's something you get in your muscles when it you is. do you do something. Uh, fast and then you have to do slow stuff to get rid of it what, yeah. what is it then well it's a build-up in the muscles and the best way to describe it from running many 400 meters we used to say our 
bottom feels like it's on fire. If you <laughs> good <laughs> explanation. Oh, you see, this this is Australians <laughs> lowering the tone again. I do apologise. Uh, but uh, you know, particularly your smaller muscles tend to tire quicker. So your shin muscles and your calf muscles, and and then as you get to the end of 400, you really will feel it in your quadriceps, your hamstrings, and your your bottom muscles, your gluteals. Uh, it it's an awful feeling. It's a, it's a, you know that you've really worked hard once you get to the line and you've got that feeling. But yeah, walking it 